us to another episode on ASUG 12 exams. So this is basically the seventh episode of uh, this series where we are looking at the November 2022 Mathematics Paper 1. So in the first few episodes we covered the question 1 through 11. So in this episode we are going to start with question 12. So let us move straight to question 12. Question 12 a.m. Find the gradient of the line passing through the points A, which is 4, comma, negative 6, and B, which is 2, comma, 4. That's question A. So the question requires us basically to find the gradient. How do you find the gradient? So the gradient is basically uh, the slopeness of the line. So if you have this line moving from A to B. So this is the change in the y-axis, then this is the change in the x-axis. So this gradient is basically change in the y-axis divided by change in the x-axis is what we are calling the gradient, given the line point A to B. So what we need to do is in this case now to find M, which is we shall call gradient, it will be basically the change in y, what's the change in y? y2 minus y1 then over change in x which is x2 minus x1 so from this one we are going to call this one to be x1 then y1 then x2 then y2 so based on that what is y2 y2 in this case is a 4 which is this one so it will be 4 minus what is y1 is a negative 6 so this is where the trick is. You are subtracting a negative from a positive number. So we say minus negative 6. So you take the entire negative. Majority of students they will ignore the negative. They will just say 4 minus 6. Then you mess up everything. Then divide by what is x2? You see this 2. So it will be 2. Then minus. Then what is it? x1? is a 4. Then once you do that, you see a straightforward. Then it will be then when you say negative minus negative it's the same as negative times negative so what you are saying is you have this negative side this is zero then you have negative one negative two then negative four so to find the difference here what it means is it will be a uh, if it's in a positive if this is a positive so what you are saying is you are moving from the positive we are taking this backward so this difference will be positive so it will be a negative minus a negative is the same as a positive so it will be just basically 4 plus 6 because negative and negative becomes positive so we have 2 minus 4 which is when simplified to be basically 10 over negative 2 then once you simplify this we are going to end up with basically negative 5 so negative 5 is basically the gradient of this line. That's the gradient. So this is how you answer question A. Move to question B. Solve the equation 2x to the power 3 equals 16. So this equation is a straightforward. So what we do is the first thing is uh, we divide by 2 to express it in the simplest form. Let me use black. So 2, 2, so we have x to the power 3 equals 2 into 16 is 8. So once we have that, basically because it's a, it's a cube root, it means the answer can only be 1. Because if the answer is a negative, then the other side should be negative. If it's a positive, it can only be a positive. It's a square root that has got two possible answers because you are squaring. Whether it's a positive or a negative, it will give you a positive. So in this case, it's straightforward. We just find the cube root. What's the cube root of uh, x to the power 3? Cube root of that. So this is the cube root. This is the cube root. So what we end up with x is equal to. So what we are saying is, what number can you multiply itself three times to give you 8? So it's a 2. 2 times 2 is a 4 times 2 is 8. So the cube root is basically positive 2. It can't be negative 2 because negative 2 times negative 2 is a positive 4 times negative 2 is a negative 8. But the answer there is 8 which is a positive. So there can only be one answer. So x is equal to basically uh, 
2. So 2 is the answer in this case. So basically, this is how you answer this question. Let us look at question 13. In the following diagram, A, B, and A, C are tangents to the circle. Center O. A, C, and B, E produced meet at D. And angle B, A, C equals 54 degrees. Calculate angle. Question A, A, C, B. Question B, C, B, D. Question C, C, D, B. So basically, this is a from circle theorem. So for us, what we can do is basically, without even going question by question, we can see what we can answer using the properties of the circle. So what I'm going to do is basically, I'm going to zoom in this diagram so that you are able to follow me as we try to answer as many questions as possible. So, from uh, what we've been given, we know that uh, basically this is uh, 54. If this is the tangent at C and B, what it means is these two are equal. So, if these two are equal, it means uh, this angle and this angle are the same. So, if these angles are the same, or they are equal, what it means is basically 54 plus, we shall call these two angles x and x. So, 2x must equal to 180. So, what this tells me is basically 2x is equal to 180 minus 54. So, 2x is equal to uh, this is 7, 10 minus 4 is basically 6. Then 7, we remember 7 there, then 7 minus 5 is a 2, then 1 minus 0 is 1. Then to find x, we divide by 2, we divide by 2, so x is equal to basically uh, 63. So we have 63 as in x. So having found what x is, we can label this one to be basically 63 and this one to be 63. Then once we know that this is 63, we can easily find this angle. We can easily find the, this angle because this is a straight line. So if this is 63, what it means to find this angle, which I will call y, is basically 180 is equal to uh, basically 63 plus y. Then to find y, it will be 180 minus 63 is equal to y. So, once we do that, the difference here, what you notice, 180 minus 63 is basically 117 is equal to y. So, this is nothing but 117. So, we can let this one to be 117 degrees. Okay, once we do that, what else can we find? We know that uh, if this is uh, passing through the center, meaning this angle is 90 and this angle from the other side is 90 but we know from here to here is 63 then that here to this this is 90 degrees you see easier to find what this angle is we shall call this angle to be z so what z is z plus 63 must is equal to 19 so z is equal to 90 minus 63 so what is z? So z is equal to uh, basically 27. That is what z is. So we found this to be basically equal to 27 degrees. So having found that to be 27 degrees, then we can easily find this angle. Because we know that this angle which is here, which we shall call, we can call it w, plus 117 plus 27 should give us 180. The summation of all the angles in a triangle adds up to 180. So what we have is 27 plus W plus 117 equals 180. Then we can say W is equal to 180 minus 117 when this one goes the other side minus 27. Then W is equal to, so the value of W 
will be basically 180 then if what this is going to give us nothing but uh, 7, 7 plus 7 is a 4 card 1 1 plus 2 is a 3 plus we get that then we get 144 so 144 180 minus 144 so w is equal to 36 36 degrees so this is a uh, 36 degrees so we found all the possible angles in as quick as that then we can go to um, the questions and look for the answers so angle ACB which is a ACB this angle remember just from finding this angle you see a uh, 63 which is this angle ACB this angle 63 so we have 63 here degrees then CBD so it's C B D which is this angle we just from finding this angle and D is C this one which is 27 so we have 27 degrees then angle C D B C D B which is this angle we just from finding this angle you notice that it's this angle just one which is 36 degrees so this is 36 degrees so basically this is how you find these uh, answers thank you viewers for watching uh, this uh, video if you are new to this channel consider subscribing to our channel because of course so much content for you so once you subscribe and go to our youtube channel you discover that we've got extensive exam revision where we have covered questions in mathematics physics and chemistry then we are also adding more subjects we've got also another section which is topic based exam question revisions this is the best section for you if you are facing any challenges in any specific topic remember for you to master anything you need to know how questions are asked and we give you tips and tricks by giving you extensive explanation to each and every question